Check it out. This is the first issue of Secret Heart Attack. It's a 24-page full-color comic with a cardstock cover and a matte finish. It's about a boy who wants to make comics and ends up getting sucked into the world of his imagination. It's a bit of an autobiography mixed with an epic superhero crossover. And every page of this was lovingly composed, drawn, colored, and lettered in Procreate. Let's talk about how I did it. What's up guys? Andrew here and welcome to Comic Booker. All things comics from a creator. If you've been watching this channel through 2022, you'll know that a huge chunk of my time was spent working on this book. The cover alone took over 50 hours to draw and I think I live streamed about a tenth of that. Secret Heart Attack started as a plan for a 200 page graphic novel that I was putting together from 2018 to 2020. Here's what that looks like. It's a chonker. I even drew the first chapter on Bristol board and it was going to be a huge exciting story. But then COVID hit and my progress on the book ground to a halt. Deep in quarantine, I started to question all the ambitious plans I'd made and wonder if I'd ever get it done. So I started to focus on other things, including this YouTube channel, uh, until about last year when we finally started to come out of quarantine. And I came back to Secret Heart Attack with fresh eyes and ended up rewriting all my plans. I cut out more than half of it and restructured it to be much tighter. So now it's going to be about three issues long instead of the original nine issue plan. Uh, the story is also a lot leaner and I think it's got way more momentum. Here, let me show you some of the page files. So here's all 24 pages in Procreate plus the cover. What I did was write out a very brief outline of the issue. Then I just scripted the pages as I went in Procreate. My basic file started as a template from the Comic Creator's Technical Handbook by Aditya Bidikar. I'll link to that and all the tools I mentioned in this video in the description below. Here's the bleed, the trim line, and the safe zone. All the important dimensions indicated so that I could just focus on working on the page with the confidence that it would be print ready by the end of the process. I also created a template using this with some preset lettering layers. Procreate's text engine isn't very strong, so this saves me from having to manually input the font parameters for each caption or word balloon. Uh, I used these layers to basically script the issue as I went, tweaking and refining the dialogue as I was building up the visuals underneath. I also made sure that my color profile was set to CMYK so that it closely resembled what it would look like in print. Line work was accomplished using my current favorite brush, Kyle T. Webster's Too Smooth To Be Forgotten. I have about four different brush size presets saved here, the largest one being for ink outlines and the smallest for hatching and little details. I used this brush for layouts, for pencils, for inking, even for color flats. Um, it's super versatile and it's the brush I definitely use the most. For colors, I worked in two modes. One was this kind of a sheeny, shiny mainstream style with block colors, lots of highlights, and airbrushed effects. The other was more of a watercolor style with a softer, more naturalistic approach to feel like the real world. For the mainstream style, I used the same brush I did for inking, too smooth to be forgotten, plus some of the default airbrush brushes in tandem with Procreate's lasso tool. For the real world style, I used Max U Lickney's watercolor Max Pack brush set which had everything I needed to mimic the sketchy and watercolor mode that I like to use uh, in my traditional sketches. The whole comic took me about seven months to draw. I have a day job, so I had to block out time in the early mornings and in the late evenings to work on this book. Also, because the iPad is super portable, I was able to work on it on the bus, uh, in the subway, and also kind of in the spaces in between my day when I had like a little break here and there and it's so worth it. All my life, I've wanted to create comics, and my dream is actually to do this as a full-time job. But until I can get to that point, uh, I'm pretty happy doing it this way because I still get to draw the stories that I want to do, make all these amazing books, uh, while sustaining the quality of life that keeps me afloat. Following the footsteps of some of my idols like Jeff Smith, Michael Fief, and Paul Pope, uh, I'm self-publishing this book out of my own pocket. My printer is Mixum, which is this excellent online service based in Illinois. And they have a really great online ordering system that made it super easy for me to print this. Once I was done with the pages, I exported them to TIFF files, collated those into a PDF, and uploaded them to Mixum's website. 
three weeks later, I had a box delivered with 200 copies of my first print run. If you want to order a copy of the book, it's already available on my website. Links in the description. Standard USPS shipping in the US, but international shipping is a bit pricey, so fair warning if you're ordering from abroad. It's currently available at Anyone Comics and Desert Island Comics in Brooklyn, as well as the Art Students League of New York in Manhattan, with more stores to come. And there's also a few dozen copies available at Comic Odyssey in Manila. For those of you who just want to read it on your iPads or computers, I've also included a digital edition that you can just download. I'm learning a lot about self-publishing and distribution as I do this, and it's really starting to become clear just how valuable having a publisher is, because this is is, this is a lot of work <laughs> but it's also a great experience as I'm meeting retailers and all the wonderful people who keep the comics business running there's no thrill quite like making comics I love doing this and sharing it with you and I hope that some of that joy comes across on camera I know I haven't been as active on YouTube this year but comics always come first with me and I'm just gonna do my best to share my journey as I go. I'm already working on issue two of this and it's gonna be even crazier. So make sure to like and subscribe for future updates. See you in the next video. Peace.